hey guys this is vedang and i'm back with another tutorial uh this time i'm going to show you how i made vr vagabond uh, which is a beat on my latest beat tip uh, called connect uh, this beat tip is a collaboration of mine and uh, shinji uh, who is a dope producer from mumbai you should check him out uh, his channel's name is producer state of mind i'm going to link his channel in the description uh so yeah we dropped this beat a couple of months ago actually we dropped this on new years so you should definitely check it out so yeah uh, the beat's name is we are vaga bonds and uh, i'm going to break it down sound by sound so for this one i started with a guitar melody which uh, i had in mind so uh, this is the demonstration of the guitar melody so i uh, recorded that guitar melody into edison as i don't have it right now uh, so i recorded the guitar melody and put it into a uh, slicer the, this is the tool which helps you to slice the notes and just rearrange the notes like this Uh, this was actually recorded on a cell phone so you can hear background noise in this <laughs> this is uh, this is my grandmother's voice uh i i layered it with sakura sound which is uh, with which it sounds like this The effects on this one are simple, EQ, a bandpass EQ, a reverb, and a filter. I guess Shinji added this and then removed it. I don't know. So yeah, this was the main melody. Now, uh, after arranging this melody, I had another counter melody to this. Uh, so I recorded that. This is the demonstration of the counter melody. Recording it, I again uh, followed the same procedure which I followed with the main melody. I put it into slicer. uh pitch shifted it a bit and then rearranged it rearranged the chops uh it goes like this so it's a cool transition uh it has sound goodizer on it for some you know some texture uh for uh, some eq some overdrive for adding a bit of high end and slightly energizing it reverb and chorus uh yeah these are the effects on this guitar now uh actually how we worked on this project is i just sent uh, shinji a couple of my F, uh, flps and uh, he flipped my flps he added some of his own stuff in it so uh, i also am going to demonstrate the stuff he added uh, 
he added a cool seaside vibes. Uh, this is basically sea waves sound effect, uh, which goes pretty well with the sound which I'm aiming for. So with the sea waves, it sounds like this. This is a, a reverse symbol. Now, after that, he added a shell rhythm percussion loop, which again goes very well with the sound. So with that, this is all intro. Uh, the basic structure is intro, rise, uh, rise with this shell uh, percussive loop, and then straight to the drums. Uh, it is not in the verse hook verse format. This is not a rap instrumental, but just random structure. So with the percussive loop, it goes like this. He added a stereo shaper to this to place the sound he wanted as he wanted. Uh, then I had uh, laid out the drums uh, in this sequence. He just beefed them up because they were not sticking out in this one. So the drums goes like this. On the kick, he added Maximus for compression, I guess. Uh, and the snare. It's a layered snare. Uh, this is a dubstep, dubstep snare. I'm sorry. Uh, EQ'd it, boosted this region to beef it up and also added some highs to it and uh, layered with it with a clap which is again EQ'd uh, these frequencies are lowered so it doesn't uh, it sticks well with the snare because the snare is boosted at this frequency so it is you know lowered at that frequency and then the whole snare these two snares are, you know, uh, what can I say, routed, routed to this uh, mixer channel and so that I can control both the snares through one channel. So whatever effects are on this channel will be applicable to both the snare and clap. So. Uh, these are small tricks which can help you mix better like which can improve the workflow of your mixing if you just route tracks and if there are two or more sounds which need similar effects then you can just route them to one channel and you know apply effects to that channel uh, reverb is there on this snare limiter for compression and a goodizer, no texture to it, yeah, uh, those are the drums, and uh, this one's also layered with the uh, ambience to make it feel grand, so uh, this is the ambience, this is a preset from Poison, it's a cool plugin in FL Studio.
it's boosted in the low region and uh, limiter for compression it just fills it up then with all these sounds the instrumental which we have till now is like this so uh, you can call it a progressive instrumental because the you know sounds just add up as we go on so yeah uh, this is the instrumental we have so far To add more energy to the drums, uh, Shinji added these dope hi hats. I love these hi hats very much. Uh, yeah, so these are the hi hats. Sorry. It adds movement to the beat, which is needed because up till now there is no movement. It's just a stagnant beat. So these hi hats give a lot of movement to the instrumental. So yeah, uh, after these are added, uh, when hi hats come, the percussive loop is not there because uh, they will clash. The percussive loop is in the same frequency region. And they both won't sound well together so yeah with the hi-hats it sounds like this also the guitar part which i was talking about at the start uh, the counter melody is also introduced here so i let you hear the transition from the main region to the counter melody region After this, there's a breakdown uh, because this counter melody part just takes it up to the higher level. So there's a big breakdown at this point. Uh, he added a piano melody here, uh, which goes like this. Uh, yeah, uh, nothing crazy about this piano, just a bandpass filter and a reverb on it. But it takes down the beat pretty well. So, yeah, this is the breakdown. Now after the breakdown, uh, each and every sound which was introduced earlier comes together. Sorry, not, not here. Uh, it is in the later part of the beat. Uh, except the shell rhythm percussive loop, almost all the sounds are here after the breakdown. Also, uh, these are this, this, this and this. These are some of the ambiences and, you know, fills which I used in the original version of this beat. Uh, so after I gave it to Shinji, he just rearranged them. This is one fill. It's a, it's a piano. Basically, these are the chords, chord progression of the song.
जैसे कॉर्ड प्रोग्रेशन देन द सेकेंड फिल इज पॉइजन अगेन पॉइजन थ्री सेट अगेन Nothing crazy about these fills. Just EQ'd. Then another fill which follows the same melody as the poison one. Uh, These are string. This is string. The last one is also sorry for the strings. Yeah, EQ and reverb on it. Yeah, with whatever we have up till now, uh, it sounds like this. Uh, after the breakdown, I'll let you guys hear the full. Part. this section the post breakdown section uh, remove the guitar and just let it play with the whatever the fills we had so far so it's just an empty part so that after this part everything which we have up till now in the beat is introduced so it, this is kind of a riser to that part part is only piano chords and it stops here and then with all the parts in this uh, beat are introduced transitions into half uh, what what's it called half speed uh, it's a preset in the gross beat plugin uh, in fl studio so it just half halves the speed of the uh, whole melody uh, in the same time so it sounds like this it just slows it down These are all the elements in the beat so do post your feedback about this beat do check this beat out uh, the link to the beat tip is uh, right down in the description uh, also uh, it's a free to use beat tip so you can download it for free and use uh, its beats for you know to rap on or you know just 
you can chill to these beats so yeah uh, do post your feedback in the comments and tell me what type of tutorials do you want next uh, yeah thank you Thank you.